time for Hot Business. And we're talking cryptocurrencies because with me, I've got one of the partners from Altcoin Trader, Richard D'Souza in the studio. Morning, Richard. Morning, Mark. Thanks very much for having me on the show. We're talking very briefly about, and there's so much to talk about in such a, a small time frame, but we're talking Bitcoin, Ethereum, we're talking cryptocurrency. The, I'll ask a big question first. Has it all gone belly up or is it going to recover? <laughs> Mark, this is definitely going to recover. There's no way that crypto um, can go belly up uh, forever. This is a technology that's going to change the world as we know it. It's going to change the financial sector on our planet. So there's never going to be a question whether it can go belly up or not. It's yet to stay. You know, there's those armchair economists who, when it did... Uh go slightly pear-shaped at the end of December, they were all wagging their finger going, see, I told you so. How, how do we respond to them now? Well, un undoubtedly, um, Bitcoin and crypto as a whole was in a bubble in December. There's no question about that. <clears throat> um, but that was bound to happen because at some point, crypto would become a household name and everyone would get in. And they'd be getting in late, they'd be getting in on the high. And that's exactly what happened. So, it was a bubble, it did come down, but um, as I say, crypto is here to stay. And I mean, that's what many of us did, including myself. I got in early December and I think I, I, I got about a 75% return on my money within three weeks. And then suddenly when it went a bit pear-shaped, I think I'm down at about 50% of, of the value. But I would imagine when it comes to Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, am I right in saying you've got to look at the long term? So, you know, a lot of people felt the the pain because they wanted a quick in and out absolutely there's there's two things that i always comment with this is there's people that are involved in crypto because of the technology and because of the awesome um tech and and the, the revolution that it is and then there's of course people that are in it for the financial gains so um, if you're in it for the financial games, these, this volatility in this market is very dangerous. And yeah, if you got in it in December, unfortunately, your timing was terribly out. In terms of making a quick buck, but down the line, what is your forecast? I know you're just looking in a crystal ball, but I mean, down the line, where could it go? Well, crypto is always a moving target, so um, it's very difficult to give a forecast. Uh, a personal view, and I just want to emphasize this is not financial advice, I am one of the people that believe that Bitcoin is going to hit a million rand. Um, it's sitting, at, uh, just so people know where it is now, sitting at about 103,000 or something, isn't it? Um, internationally, it's about 103. In South Africa, it's about 111, 112,000 as, uh, you know, as we sit here. Um, but I believe that we haven't even begun to see what Bitcoin's going to do. Remember, Bitcoin is extremely scarce. Um, and just because of that reason, there's not even enough Bitcoin for everyone in South Africa to own one. So just for that, ex that reason, um, I, I think a million is, is, an opt uh, is a conservative point of view. So Altcoin Trader is, is an exchange altcointrader.co.za to what extent is it safe for someone listening right now going well I've got a let's say I've got three or four or five thousand rand to spare because ultimately I suppose that's what you should be doing you shouldn't be taking money out of your mortgage um, you know that's probably not good financial advice but but if you have money and you want to put it into Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency how safe is it they might ask when when you put it onto an exchange like altcoin trader well, altcoin, um, because we are a registered exchange and we, it's extremely safe. It's probably the best way to get involved in crypto. Um, we're very passionate about bringing crypto to the people. Um, we've designed our platform in a way that it is simple to use. Someone who doesn't have trading knowledge or doesn't have a lot of technical knowledge, someone that has sort of got the knowledge of using a banking app or online banking can quite easily get involved. It is safe, it's secure, and it's a very, very good starting point. And am I right in saying that South Africa is quite proactive when it comes to trying to understand cryptocurrencies? I'm talking uh, the regulatory bodies, um, such as the Reserve Bank. Some, some countries are totally against it, but the Reserve Bank seems to be trying to embrace it and understand it. Yeah, the South African government have got a very forward-thinking attitude. Um, they are embracing it. Uh, they are uh, meeting with industry players like ourselves. And together we're working out ways that we can make it safe and we can make it viable for everyone to get involved. So if someone wants to start, they simply go to altcointrader.co.za? Correct. You sign up there. It'll take um, less than a minute to sign up and uh, follow the steps. And it's that simple to get involved in the space.
Bitcoin is the big name that everyone's been talking about, and then Ethereum was the, the other big one. But there's so many now. I know there's a banana something as well. We were talking about banana slabs or bananas. And I mean, how would you know by just looking at all of those? Let's put Bitcoin aside for a moment. Um, all the other cryptocurrencies, how would you know which ones to dabble in? Well, we've tried to make that easy for the public. So we've put what we believe are the top coins on our site. At this stage, we've got 10 or 11 coins. So just simply going to our site, um, those coins, that's a very good guideline. Obviously, do your own research um, and then you can find more coins. But a good starting place is Altcoin Trader. And of course, for someone who's just starting out, possibly, you don't need to buy a whole coin. I mean, you, you can buy a fraction of a coin. Correct. And that is the whole idea behind Bitcoin. Um, because there's only going to be 21 million, every single Bitcoin is divisible by 100 million. So you could buy literally a couple of rands worth. There's no starting limit. So, you know, people always go, don't do it. But I mean, you could put like 100 bucks in if you wanted. Absolutely. Um, on our exchange, anything more than 50 rand can be credited to your account and you can get started. So let's assume I go onto Altcoin Trader. I'm going to put 100 bucks in today and we're going to chat again in a couple of months time and we're going to see how much my hundred bucks is worth that would be a fantastic <laughs> idea and i i think you'd be surprised because long term it is going to grow there's no doubt about that okay the armchair economists are still squirming right now as we chat but things are changing there's shifting paradigms it's not as it was it's a changing world and i don't think that people have got the option of saying they won't get involved in cryptocurrency they will get involved in it it's a bit like in the 90s saying i don't know if i'm going to get involved in internet you will simply there will come a day where you'll have no choice it'll be used in daily life richard de souza a partner at altcoin trader thank you for popping in and if you want to go onto their website altcointrader.co.za cheers thanks very much